Hello, this is Jack from teachingeslonline.com. Now, today I'm going to break down three options for a website builder. If you are an online teacher, if you offer services, or if you have some type of small business where you're going to collect, connect with clients. Now, these three are options that I think you should consider. There might be others. If you know of others, let me know down below. But I'm going to approach this from a different type of angle than many people do. Because it's so important that you set up a, a website that converts. A website that brings in leads, not just a pretty website that people are going to browse, like the look of, and then leave. Don't get caught up in the fancy stuff when it comes to website building. You want it to be successful. You want it so that people are taking action. Now, here's an example. If you're an online teacher, you want people to book a lesson with you or to book a trial lesson with you. If you offer high ticket client promotion stuff, then you want people to get on that phone call with you. If you are a local business offering services, then you want people to call you or to send you their information. So what we're going to do is break it down and talk about it from that angle because I think it's such an important part of this. You don't want a website where people are going to browse and leave. So bear that in mind as we go through it. Now, two of these I have used extensively. The other one I haven't. But I've used it a couple of times and I think it's a great option. Now also, two of these have an affiliate program, which I am part of. So if you want to sign up for the free trial and check things out, then I'd be very grateful if you use my links. They're in the description. Now I'm pointing over here because I have the, the pages up here and I'm gonna put them on my screen now. The first one is the wild card, lead pages, okay? So I've been using lead pages since so I've been using lead pages since 2013. It started out as just a landing page builder. Now, just pause a second. A landing page, in my view, is just a page where you convert people and you get them to take action. So the page where, you, you, you know, the, the page that you land on and it says download something for free or here's how to book my services. Here's the calendar available for me. Just think about that as a landing page. So lead pages used to be into that only, but recently they've added new features, including a website builder. Let's have a look. So there are three plans here, all in the annual, standard, pro, and advanced. If you scroll down though, there's a little one down here, which is start, which says only need a website, quickly get online with a lead pages site, beautiful and built to convert. Built to convert, okay, a key word. Lead pages is the best option if you want to convert people because that is their business. You might be able to get the same kind of results elsewhere, but it's going to be harder to achieve. I actually think for a lot of people, lead pages is a good place to start, but, but try it out for yourself because it might not fit your needs. Just going back to this, what you get with this start plan is one website, a domain, unlimited traffic and leads, mobile responsive site templates. Everything is mobile responsive now. Lead notifications, tech support, which is great, and a weekly group coaching. I didn't know they did that. But this is a very simple website builder, okay? A very simple one. But again, it's all about the focus on converting people. I love lead pages. I've been using it for years. I recommend it to anyone who, who's going to listen. Again, it might not be for you though. Now, if you want to delve deeper into lead pages, the standard and pro plans are good. I don't recommend the advanced for most people watching, but let's just have a quick look. For standard, you get one site, lead pages, pop-ups, alert bars. So a pop-up is annoying. An alert bar is less annoying. I use alert bars. Unlimited traffic and leads free hosting, free custom domain, mobile responsive again, lean notifications, tech support, 40 standard integrations. And then with the pro plan, you also get online sales and payments. So this is a way for you to accept online sales and payments for your services through lead pages. So it means that you don't have to set up a different type of payment software 
and then integrate it into your site. Unlimited A-B split testing. Now, when I started with my first landing page for my book, it converted at about 15 to 17%. After a lot of A-B split tests, it now converts around 40 to 45% of people who land on it take action, which is fantastic. And I've done that through A-B split testing. Email trigger links, I don't use that because it's something I can do through Active Campaign. Link to that below. And 10 opt in text campaigns. I don't like to send text to people on my list. I just, it's something I don't like to do. So that is lead pages. Again, what, what I recommend you do is try, try it out. Have a free trial, build a website, think about it. It's very like custom, sorry, template based where you choose a template and you just write in your title, put in your picture, do all those kind of things, but it's going to tell you what kind of site is going to convert in terms of what you need to do. Things like the double click to opt in, just lots of little things that you might not think about. The next option is Squarespace and this video is not sponsored by Squarespace. I actually reached out to them a couple of years ago and in, let me just summarize it by saying I was too small my website, my my reach, my clout was too small for them to consider it. But if you're watching Squarespace, you know where I am. Um, I actually like Squarespace. I've used it for a couple of people. I think it's a good option for a lot of people. Again, take their free trial, check it out. The biggest advantage is there are a lot of features. So you can grow into the different features. There are certain things that you might not think you need. You might not want to create a member area or sell anything through Squarespace. You might want to do it in a different way, but Squarespace allows you to grow into that because it has all of those features for you. And it depends which plan you're on. So the business plan is $18 a month annually. The commerce plan is $26 a month annually. But if you actually go to pay monthly, it's quite a big jump. So they want you to go annually. And if you do get the free plan, make sure that you cancel before your payment, just in case in, in case you don't want it. But if we go to the feature list, then there's so much here. I mean, there is a lot going on. Image manager, galleries, audio collections, extensions, connected services, layout engine, it goes on and on. The problem though, is that it's not very customizable and you can't get third party extensions. So from what I know, it only integrates natively with MailChimp. I much prefer Active Campaign. You you have to go through um, a different app and connect the two in a way that's a little bit clunky. So the options available for you aren't that great when it comes to connecting with other apps. A lot of the times with these all-in-one solutions, you're limited with the actual solution. It's whatever they think is best or whatever they have, you have to use. But again, try it out, see what it's like. The third option is WordPress. And WordPress is going to confuse you at first. Everyone who, who starts using WordPress and haven't used it before, they get confused. It's a little bit like Bitcoin. People are very confused by Bitcoin. But I like to break it down, or let me try and break it down in a way that is going to make sense. With WordPress, so WordPress is open source software, and it's software that allowed you to build a website. It's quite easy to use in a way these days, but you also have to think about, okay, I'm going to use a template with that. So you can download different templates, and you think, oh, I need to add this. So then you get a plugin. Uh, added extension. Now, I hope you're not confused yet, but a plugin with WordPress means that you have lots of different options from third parties. So just as an example, if you want to create a membership website with WordPress where people pay money, they get login details, and then they log into their member area, there are numerous different plugins for that, and you can choose which one you want to use. Whereas with Squarespace, they're just gonna give you their solution. There's no third party solution. But with that added choice 
comes added complexity and confusion. So let's just back up again. You have WordPress, open source software, which allows you to build a website. It gives you the tools and the back end to build a website. But whereas Squarespace and Lead Pages are going to host it for you, you need to, with WordPress, get a hosting company and host your WordPress site on their hosting servers. I recommend SiteGround, link in the description. SiteGround is my favorite hosting company. I've been using this since 2014. I do have one site on Bluehost, but most sites are on SiteGround. It's fast, it's easy to use relatively, the support is incredible. Support is very important when it comes to hosting on websites. Other hosting companies take a long time to get back to you and they don't know what they're doing. It will get passed from person to person. You don't get a solution quickly. With SiteGround, you say, I've got this problem. They're like, okay, let me ask you a couple of questions. This, 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 they get back to you straight away. They have a solution. They're very, very good. It's very secure, touch wood. It's also easy to use in terms of getting it started with WordPress. So going back here, there are different options. You're probably going to be okay with startup. Know that you can upgrade. So let's just say you, you choose the cheap option, $3.95 a month. So if you compare that to Lead Pages and Squarespace, it's a lot cheaper, but it's more complicated. Okay, so bear that in mind. Now, this is the interesting part because it's this service is dedicated for WordPress. So you have the WordPress launch, which means that it's a lot easier to install WordPress. What you do, I'll just break this down. You get your hosting. So you buy your hosting for the year. They, they do have a refund policy, I think. I'm pretty sure. So... If you get it and you find it too complicated, you can get a refund within 30 days, I guess. I'll, I'll leave the definite notes in the description. But you, you buy your hosting. Then you go in to your hosting and then you click a few buttons to install WordPress. So then WordPress open source software gets installed on your hosting company's um, backend. And then you can log into WordPress from there and do whatever you want to do. It sounds easy, it's not. There's quite a lot of things going on after that. You're going to then run into issues because then you think, oh, what template should I use? These free ones aren't very good. Maybe I need a paid uh, theme. There's a lot of things you need to think about here and it's not as easy as drag and drop. Although the latest update uh, about a year ago just created blocks where it's become so much easier to do. So, have a play around. Think about those three options. Like, just think about which option is best right now. Like, if you had to decide in three, two, one, okay, maybe go with that now. Have a play with it and know that you can change at a later date. I probably should have said that at the beginning to take the pressure off. But let's say you get started with lead pages, you don't like it. You can just build a website elsewhere in the background and transfer the domain name to there. Speaking of domain names, I recommend that you buy your own domain name, not through the service, and then it's quite easy to connect your domain name to the different services. I hope I broke that down in a way that makes it a little bit easier for you to get started. It, it can be a little bit complex talking about website building when you, especially with WordPress, but have a play around do the free trials, see which one is best for you. And then let me know below, which one are you going to choose? Just, just let me know below. Um, now, in the description, like I've said, there's quite a lot there. There are guides on um, email marketing, online courses, how to teach online, how to become an online teacher. Lots of free guides from me, so check that out. And then if you decide to use one of these services, um, use my link. There's no affiliate link for Squarespace. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.